welcome back to another video it's minecraft episode four i think we uh we're reviewing another one of my uh, worlds it's one that i've built on the ps4 for once so the map's a bit bigger um i'm sorry i haven't uploaded but as you know i'm getting an elgato i've actually whoops i've actually got it but it's very hard to hook up well not hook up but figure out what everything does and it's a real pain really but hopefully this should be the last video that i bring that is on the share factory hopefully this should be the last video probably won't be at some point because it's quite easy to film on the share factory the only bad thing to it is that you only get 15 minutes of viewing time but i will figure out the alligator at some point and hopefully get you another video uh, so this is Castle Survival, built it on creative play in survival basically, it's like a game mode, I mean there's a castle you got to, or other people have to try and attack the castle. Um, I built all this by myself really, These are, this is the first bit, I've turned TNT off so nothing will blow up hopefully. So we come through here, they get set off by up there, I'll show you that in a second. If you come through here, obviously a trip wire takes you out. Uh, you can come along here. That's just for the redstone to go across. And once again, you have this lava wall, which I found quite cool. And I've done it a couple of times. So if we press that, and then we'll press that. We can press that now, I guess. If we press that, it suddenly becomes comes or is going down slowly it'll come down eventually anyway in the meantime this is like the courtyard i guess big tower up there we've got this area here tree beacon and snow beacon this is basically if you press that it sets tnt off in the tree and snow beacons show those show you those at the end it took me a while to build those so as you can see you can just walk through here that barrier goes up and down, it's gone down at the minute. And I'm sinking. So this is PS obviously a PS4 update Minecraft is you have stables. So this is my stables. Goes through the mountain and then it's got this area out here. The diamond horse is mine, gold are for the rest of the el everyone else. Because obviously they're not as important as me. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go up here. In here building supplies because it's uh, obviously survival so you need lots of building supplies so upstairs from there we have got stuff and this this is the prison you can throw food through there demonstrate throw food in there it'll eventually go through then if you come through here turn that off it'll kind of waiting for it you can pick up the food in here and it's obviously bedrock that it's impossible to mine up well you can mine up but it'll take a while also you can't build up to get up there nothing in there nothing in there so yeah it's just basically like a little dungeon prison thing with that there through here we it's like this is going into the mountain now we got seeds which is for the garden face place this garden place, obviously, if you're getting cornered or you can't get out for go get food, this is where you come for crops and stuff. It's almost all grown. You can see the side of the mountain there. Let's show you this quickly downstairs. This down here is the docks, I guess. So the docks is a little area around the back, around the back of the castle. Go through here. You got boats could be a secret way out I guess if you want it to be and then so through here oh wait a sec make sure save game is off yeah in here is this place not quite sure oh yeah if you got I think there's oops. yeah there's two um two uh what's it called whatever block they are What's it called now? I'll figure it out. It is called bedrock. There we go. Bedrock here. You can put two there. They can't get in. Food, food and stuff in there. 
food, lights in there. You can come through here. Oh yeah, down here is where the beacon is. If you saw at the beginning of the video, there is actually a beacon. And this is where it is. So you come down here, this is a beacon area. Beacon goes up there, you'll probably be able to see it a bit better later on. Takes a while to get there. Then down here, this is pretty cool as well. If, you, if they eventually do get in somehow, you can come through here and jump in there and run away. Or you can come through here and then mine your way out. Or come up here and you can see out. You can't usually, can't really see that from outside, which is pretty cool. So, we'll go back upstairs now. So going upstairs, we have got, this is the first floor, I guess you could say. We've got the kitchen fitted out with nothing. <laughs> uh... We've got this in here, fitted, also fitted out with nothing. That's the kitchen. Then if you come through here, we've got the dining room, which is pretty cool. I like the dining room. Then you can pass food through there and everything. I don't see why there's this many seats when there isn't this many beds outside or what, upstairs. In here is my office. Pretty swagalicious, if that's a word. I'm going to say it's a word. Nice office in there, sitting room areas, and then if we go upstairs from that, we have got, I haven't completely finished this bit, this is basically bedrooms, this is guest bedroom number two, pretty big. Uh, this is, if you get killed and you respawn, this is basically a quick way to get your armour back, so just hit each one of these and it shoots out armour, I like that idea. This is my bedroom, nice area here, you can see quite a bit looks pretty cool then in here we have got bedrooms or barracks then in here I think it's the bathroom yep fitted with a toilet I'm saying that's a toilet so yeah look at that pretty good got that actually leaks down into the dining room which you can see if you really look in but I didn't tell you about that so you couldn't see it but now you probably go and go back and see it anyway this is the tower through here is the armory, proper armory, all the arrows and stuff obviously, some of it's missing because I've already used it because, well I already had a war, if we go up here, this is the tower, got the beacon which you can obviously see, goes right down here, that's the thing that we've just seen before, this is the beacon, though if we use it as a mini game, this map we, we usually say that the enemy or the attacker has to take out the beacon so this means that they don't know where the beacon is and it's quite hard for them to take it out because if they fall they die and that is basically the castle obviously it's got stuff all around it safety or getting rid of people features you can press that that does something there we go oh wait didn't work oh yeah there that also fires that fires these ones yeah i knew that and then this there we go that's the one so this one fires these ones yeah these ones so this is the tree beacon and because i'm an idiot i saved it whilst before i blew it up because this was uh, all redstone like i said came all the way from that castle courtyard came all the way up here and then it blew the beacon up, which was here, and it was like a lookout place disguised as a tree, all like fake wood, which took me ages to build, and I blew it up and, didn't, and saved it, which was a stupid thing to do. But obviously, you could go to the courtyard, hit the switch, this would blow up, and they would die. So the next one, which I haven't blown up yet, but I probably will just to show you anyway, this is the snow beacon. This is a way out, I guess. So this is the snow beacon. This shows where people are. You gotta take out the snow and the tree beacon before you go for the one at the castle. That's all there. I'll just show you this quickly. This actually leads to the castle. But not many people know that. Well, not many people who've played it know that. Then you gotta take a long cart ride all the way. Which might take a while to run, so I might as well just go in the cart. So, yeah, this took a while to build, so this is currently going under the water, 
which you probably saw because it's all around the castle. And well, this is actually a good bit. Oh, I forgot, to, I forgot to take that. Yeah, so you come through here and then you got to take another cart ride, but this is actually not real. This is a funny cart ride, which is meant to kill people. TNT is on. Mm, whoops. So if people come this way, this basically, there's no way out. And it will be. Yeah. So, yeah. So what actually happened is this block, as soon as you go past that, switch thing that was there this moves the block there so you can't run out because it take a while to mine and then by the time you've tried to mine it or realize what's going on you've been blown up so the real way which you meant to do it is go through here mine that go under here round here up here which leads to the proper one my little trick uh, there we go so this actually eventually goes to the actual castle as you see, it says the detector rail has just... Oh, I forgot to say it. Hate kit, those cars. The detector rail has probably... Um, okay, I'll go down here. The detector rail says that it's... Well, it was there, so... That actually goes to some redstone, which is here. So that lights up, basically, when a, an intruder is going along the thing. As you can see, there is redstone there, which eventually leads to there goes all the way around it took me a long while to build that as well and so that was it for this one i know it was a small minecraft video but i haven't really been doing much because i've been i've got fifa i've been trying it out seeing what it's like and uh playing it really i haven't really played it at all this is uh i know it's a small video but i haven't really made many minecraft things recently and uh but it took me a while to build this anyway uh, yeah, so my next video will be a FIFA video off the Elgato, so maybe you'll see a difference in quality. I'm not too sure. I didn't think Share Factory was bad, but it, it was quite a good thing to use. But hopefully, I can go into my Elgato now. I've had it for a couple of days. It's, it's very good. It is very good. It's just very complicated on everything that's very good because I'm not really into complete computers like geeks or whatever. So. Yeah, it'll be FIFA Pro Clubs. I've already fallen off my chair because I found it that funny. It was Unfortunately, I didn't record it because I didn't have my Elgato at that point, but it, it was very funny, and I think it'll be very funny watching as well. But I have already fallen off my chair, so that'll be uh, hopefully a sign of good things that will happen. So, yeah, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like as well so I get my likes. And then... Yeah, so that's it. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, which should be FIFA 15.